Okay, after you get your uh, framing all put in, uh, hot glue gunned up, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drill some holes in between each chamber and through the, the, the center stringer line. What that's going to do is that's going to keep the air pressure equalized. Uh, so when you put your vent plug in, um, the whole thing will vent through. You can actually drill these holes in before you put the, the framing in. Just lay them down, drill some holes. But as you can see here, you just drill a little, you know, quarter inch hole. Right? You're going to want one on that side. That side, and you're going to want one through the through the stringer. Uh, you can put one in the stringer. You can put two or three in the stringer, but you need one on each side of each rib. I'm saying that's going to that's going to ventilate the whole inside of this hollow thing. So don't forget that. Okay, now that we've got all the ribs together, we've got them set into the jig. Each rib is, has a little tack with uh, hot glue holding it in place. I've hot glued the seams just to make sure everything's steady, stable, nice and secure. When we get to that point, what we're going to want to do is we're going to get a handsaw. And for this tailpiece, the little tailpiece, piece number one, we're going to want to find the point because if, if you look at the if you look at the uh, the stringer, it comes and it comes off and it has a curved edge on it. Well, what you have to do is you have to cut the tip of that stringer off so this tailpiece will fit flush to it, nice and even. So I've already cut it off, and we're going to go ahead and hot glue this piece on just to the end, just so we got that little tail for our uh, plank boards to secure to. So I got my hot glue gun, I'm gonna center it up. I'm gonna hold that. Now once we've done that, what we're gonna wanna do is nothing is perfect. So you'll feel these little rib edges where the rib and the stringer meet. And sometimes the little stringer is going to be a little bit higher than the rib, or the, the, the rib will be higher than the stringer. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to knock that edge down with our orbital sander. Now I've already done it on these, but like right here, I had a little problem with the, with the stringer being higher than the rib. And I just kind, of, just kind of sanded that nice and smooth to get everything to match up. Now I did the same thing with the tail block here too. If you look on the template, this curved edge right here from the from stringer number two to stringer number one, or uh, I'm sorry, rib number two to rib number one, it's got quite a radius on there. And what you want to do, so this board will roll around that edge a little bit easier. You're just going to want to knock that nice and smooth from this point to this point, just just to give it a little bit more of a radius. Now the reason we're sanding all these off is when we lay our when we lay our first plank down the center line of this thing, it's going to have a tendency to want to wobble anyway because it rolls off to this side and it rolls off to this side and you have a high point in the center. We're just kind of knocking that high point down so this thing sits a little bit flatter. Now once we once we get this first centerpiece done, the rest will lay out a lot smoother because they're all going the same direction. These are all going down this way. These will be going down this way. So once everything's sanded, what I like to do is I like to get my dividers and find a center point on your board, on your stringer board. What I've done is I've found this center point with my dividers here here, centered, and I like to transfer that mark from the center of the stringer off to the edge of the rib, center of the stringer off to the edge of the rig, the, the, the rib. 
essentially why I'm doing that is when I go and I start laying my glue up on here, I don't want to have a bunch of excess glue that I've got to clean off later or wipe down. Or, so this gives me a nice point to where I can glue, to run my glue. I'm going to run my glue right down the center line, all the way to the point. That way I don't have a lot of excess to clean off. And it gives me a nice straight line when I drop this stringer, I mean this first plank down, it gives me a nice nice line that I can eyeball right to the edge of my stringer, because I mean, right to the edge of my plank. Once I put this plank down, I'm not going to be able to see the stringer underneath when I'm looking down on top of this. And I want to make sure that this thing is dead center of the board, because this is my first piece. If you're off center, your board's going to look lopsided. Um, it's not going to hurt anything, but it's, it's not going to look good. It's not going to be visually appealing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing this thing up and uh, get ready to uh, lay my first plank. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can, uh, you know, hold your plank down. Um, you can use clamps. Uh, you can you can run some of that, that that plastic tape over on the first one. But on the first one, what I what I usually do is I put something heavy on each rib. I just kind of put my board down. I like it. I lay that brick right there on the edge. I get this first stringer nice and straight and solid. Take a break, let it set up, and then we can start planking off the rest. So let's go ahead and get started on it. I think we're ready. Remember, tight bond, tight bond three, ultimate woodworking glue. Uh, it's waterproof. Don't use the water resistant. We're going to use the waterproof. And you're going to want to lay this thing down just as straight as you can from the very beginning. Because if not, you're going to smear all your glue off. Okay. You want to make sure you're out to the nose. Out to the tail. Boy, that looks, that looks really good. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my clamp. I have a nice spring clamp here. And I'm going to spring clamp this very tip of this thing. Just like that. Get this first rib. What this is going to do is it's going to push the whole. It's going to push the whole board. Kind of bow it down when I get these first two springs on, these two clamps on. So I'm nice and lined up here on my center. I'm going to start stacking my bricks. Well, I'd say there you have it. Now what you do on this is you let this thing set up, and I'd let it set up for, you know, at least two hours with this glue, uh, maybe even more, maybe overnight, but you don't want to touch this thing now. You just want to let it rest and, and let that glue secure. This is your first piece, so it's real important. 